Hello, my name is Ramu. I'd like to walk you through the process that I went through in my first project with Career Foundry uh, to de design and develop a weather app that is primary for water sport users called Vela. First thing that I did was analyze what the product was, go through the problems that, and the re reason why the project would come about. I um, then did some research goals to see to see what would the user expect from such an app and what features they would like to see in the app. Following that, I then did an online survey. Uh, the online survey was done through a water sport forum uh, over a 24 hour period and the participants that were used were between the ages of 17 and 35 so it was quite a wide range of age groups that got involved and here, here are the results of that survey. I then did a user flow which although it's on all those this in all those if they part of the portfolio I did actually do it a bit later than this but and basically this is show showing how I would like the user to be able to navigate through through the app when it's finally developed. As you can see it starts at sign up, log in Homepage, homepage full of sign up for onboarding, location, weather, weather to profile and form. Next up, we go to competitive research, which is the part where I go to the many app stores that are, are available, uh, Google Play, Apple, all that sort, and I picked out a few of the popular apps that are going about at the moment to analyse what they, what are their strengths and weaknesses, and out of the three that I really narrowed it down to, I did find that AccuWeather was a very fine app indeed and probably the benchmark for all weather apps in the future. Uh, there wasn't a lot wrong with it uh, and in fact I, I, found I, I personally use it myself. Now we go on to Personas. Uh, this is where we were asked to to three personas of three not necessarily fictitious characters but characters that we we give them a, a life of their own uh, given names given occupations family life etc etc I then proceeded from that and I did a journey map for one of the Personas, which shows his journey through his initial search for a weather app to actually finally deciding what app to choose from with his thoughts and his opportunities along the way. Next up is Sketches, which my thought should have been at the start, but this is um, my poor attempt at doing sketches. Uh, 
I'm sure with practice I will get a lot better with it. Next is wireframes. Uh, this was the first iteration of the forthcoming weather app. Uh, this was in, in its infancy, so it's very basic in grayscale. A uh, lot crammed in on each screen, which through the process I gradually started to eliminate, uh, mainly because it looked too cluttered. User testing. We then got a few people together to actually try it out after, and I uh, then turned it into a pro turned the uh, wireframes into a prototype using Envision. I then sent the link to these people. Uh, it was six participants who proceeded to have a go at it and feed me back their feedback. Uh, it was a wide range of um, age groups. Uh, the, the oldest being 60, so it was all very new to him, more than, more than the other two. Uh, with the testing as well, I then proceeded to go to a uh, preference testing website to show off some of my pages to see which ones would uh, be favourable. This was this was um, done over a twenty-four hour period as well. Uh, it covered all time zones, so all all types of pe people and cultures were involved in this. And now the final in interface. Uh, this is this is basically uh, what it will finally look like. Uh, it's not final final because I'm sure I will find uh, things things to improve it even more. And um, this is my some of my uh, lessons that I've learned on, uh, along the journey. Uh, with that, I have three que four questions to answer. Uh, I have to admit, oh, the first question is, have you given feedback on someone else's design? And what about receiving feedback? Well, I have given feedback on someone else's design, and I found it a very sort of uh, weird experience, um, because it's one of those things where you, you don't really want to hurt someone's feelings. Uh, also, or, but also, in the fact that if you see something good in someone else's designs, you could keep it in the back of your mind and possibly use it on future projects that I will be involved in. But all in all, I did I did find it quite weird because, I, like I said, I, I'm not one of these people that like to hurt people's feelings. So I was uh, very conservative in, in giving feedback within reason. Uh, as for receiving feedback, I actually found it very beneficial to myself. Um, I'm, I'm very good at kept taking criticism because I find that taking if you can't take criticism, then you shouldn't be in a job where you, you need to have feedback to progress. So, anyway, second question, how would your teammates describe you as someone to work with? Well, speaking, I, have, I haven't actually worked in a team doing a development like this, but speaking from experience from my previous employment, which 
teamwork was paramount. I was viewed as an important cog in the engine that kept that business going. I always pride myself on never purposely let my colleagues down. So it doesn't worry me at all that by working with a team that designs and develops apps, I know that I will be a best team player as I possibly can. Uh, pro tell me about a difficult project or tell about something wrong going well. Uh, I, I, I suppose um, what it must have been uh, was the amount of iterations that I've had to do. Uh, it's, it's a case of perseverance, perseverance, perseverance until I get it right. I think my initial problem was uh, getting the tour bar right uh, from not being so obtrusive to just making it simple with icons that people immediately recognised. Come up with your own question you could ask the interviewer. Right. Well, I'm a firm believer in not making something for nothing. When I develop something or design something, I would like it to have a purpose to the person who buys it. Uh, whether, whether it's enjoyment, business, or play, um, or information, I would like to think that what I would do would benefit someone's life, and not and not just be some useless app that is only used once and never used again. Thank you for taking time to listen to this um, film and I sign off now. Bye.